So I just found out that the log cabin Republicans are still a thing, which I thought wasn't a thing anymore. But for those of you who don't know what that is, um, it's basically gay Republicans. And they were still a thing while the Republican Party nationally was running campaigns against marriage equality. So it doesn't necessarily make sense that you would be enthusiastic about a party that doesn't like you, thinks your very existence is sinful and icky, if we're being honest. Nonetheless, they're still around, and Rick Grinnell, a member of the Log Cabin Republicans, put out an ad on behalf of Donald Trump, and he makes some claims that are a little bit hyperbolic, if you ask me. <laughs> Take a look. President Trump is the most pro-gay president in American history. I can prove it. My name is Rick Grinnell. I'm America's first openly gay cabinet member. As a United States Senator, Joe Biden said gay people couldn't receive security clearances because we would be a security risk. Joe must have been terrified when Donald Trump appointed me as acting director of national intelligence. The fact that I'm gay didn't even phase Donald Trump. Joe Biden certainly didn't congratulate the appointment or even acknowledge it, but his silence was deafening. President Trump has done more to advance the rights of gays and lesbians in three years than Joe Biden did in 40 plus years in Washington. For four decades, Joe Biden has attacked the LGBT community. As a U.S. Senator, Biden supported Don't Ask, Don't Tell and the Defense of Marriage Act. Biden voted to cut off federal funds to any school that teaches acceptance of homosexuality. Biden said again and again that he was against marriage equality. Senator, do you straightful. support gay marriage? No. Marriage is between a man and a woman. And now, well, now that we've made progress, Joe Biden has changed his mind. I know firsthand that President Trump is the strongest ally that gay Americans have ever had in the White House. Donald Trump is the first president in American history to be pro-gay marriage from his first day in office. President Trump knew I was gay when he appointed me to one of the most prestigious and powerful ambassadorships in the world. As ambassador to Germany, President Trump fully supported our fight to crush the homophobic and barbaric Islamic terrorist organization Hezbollah and the Iranian regime that supports them. While President Trump was denying the homophobic regime money, the Obama-Biden team was giving them billions of dollars. Joe Biden not only admits it, he says he'll do it again if elected president. I would, I would reinstate the Iran nuclear deal. President Trump began a historic campaign to decriminalize homosexuality around the globe at the United Nations, where he publicly challenged the 69 countries who make being gay a crime to change their laws. And my administration is working with other nations to stop criminalizing of homosexuality. Gays and lesbians can be put to death in nine countries just for being who we are. So why did Joe Biden fail to make this issue a priority in his more than 40 years in Washington? He's never answered this question. This is why I believe we need President Trump in office for another four years, and I'm certainly not the only one. There are millions of patriotic gay Americans who are sick of being told to sit down and shut up by those who want to control us, those who are afraid of our voice, those who want to keep equality a partisan issue. They tell us our opinions don't matter because we don't subscribe to their groupthink. They try and bully us into silence. But in my experience, proud gay people don't like to be silent. They like to be loud. Yesterday's champions of diversity are today's intolerance. Well, I love this country and I'm not gonna be silent. There are tens of thousands of gay conservatives just like me who also won't be silent. Gay people don't have to vote Democrat because Donald Trump is the most pro-gay president in American history. Ha! Gay! Rick, you are simping for Donald Trump, my dude. <laughs> like, I don't think he believes the things he said. Like, there's no way he believes the things he said about Donald Trump and Joe Biden unless he's delusional, living in an alternate reality that you and I aren't in. He says, President Trump is the most pro-gay president in American history, and I can prove it. 
How does he prove it? Well, the next thing he says is Donald Trump gave me a job and the fact that I'm gay didn't even phase Donald Trump. Oh, well, there you have it. You got a job and you're gay and he didn't care. Like he didn't say anything offensive. So most pro-gay president in American history. This is genuinely embarrassing. So he then says, President Trump has done more to advance the rights of gays and lesbians in three years than Biden did in 40 plus years. Now, has Biden been an ally to the LGBTQ plus community? No, because he correctly states Biden did pass Don't Ask, Don't Tell and the Defense of Marriage Act, right? Biden did all of these horrible things. But while Biden was also anti-gay, who else was anti-gay? Donald Trump. Donald Trump might have not had power, but he was against gay marriage. He still had influence. He was a celebrity. And Biden evolved on this issue faster than Trump did. So if you're going to give Trump credit, then you also have to give Biden credit for the same thing. Because according to you, Trump also evolved, right? He wasn't on board with LGBTQ plus issues. So why does Trump get credit for evolving, but Biden doesn't, even when Biden is demonstrably better on this issue than Donald Trump? It doesn't make sense to me. It's basically like he's trying to find reasons why Trump is pro-gay, but he's grasping at anything here and he doesn't really know what to do. So he just brings up, oh, well, Biden supported Don't Ask, Don't Tell in Doma. Right. And if Trump was in power, do you think he wouldn't have supported those things? Of course he would have. He banned transgender people from serving in the military. Of course Donald Trump is a bigot. So what are you saying? Like, it doesn't even make sense to me. But he gives us more quote unquote evidence. Donald Trump is the first president in American history to be pro-gay marriage from his first day in office. Is that so? Because prior to running for president, Donald Trump was pretty clearly against LGBTQ rights. He said in numerous interviews, I don't support gay marriage. So if you're going to give him credit for being pro-gay marriage from his first day in office, then shouldn't we know his position? Because he didn't like unequivocally say, I am now in support of gay marriage. In fact, he chose Mike Pence as his running mate. So we had zero reason to believe that he had evolved on this issue. But yet you say, oh, well, he was the first pro-gay marriage president to take office. Okay, if he actually supported marriage equality since his first day in office, that would technically be correct because when Obama was first elected, he supported civil unions and then later evolved. Like, I think that he always supported marriage equality. He just couldn't say it in his opinion because it wasn't politically expedient. But don't we have to know what the president's position is in order for him to get credit for it? Like, if he was secretly pro-gay marriage, you don't get applauded for that. You get applauded for bravery and speaking out against what most Republicans believe. So he doesn't get a pass for this. Now, on top of that, he says, President Trump knew I was gay when he appointed me to one of the most prestigious and powerful ambassadorships in the world. Him giving you a job is not evidence that he's pro-gay. That's not evidence of anything. Because you being gay didn't face him, that doesn't mean that he's pro-gay. If anything, he doesn't care. But what do we look for in allies? We look for someone who does care and is vocal about fighting for the LGBTQ community. So when you say he's the most pro-gay president in American history, ask yourself, do you think all of these things are pro-gay? Quote, Trump signed a law that undercut Obama's anti-discriminatory protections for gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer contractors. The Trump Justice Department argued a major federal civil rights law does not protect employees from discrimination based on sexual orientation. Again, taking a stand against a decision reached under Obama, the Trump administration took a number of steps undercutting rights for transgender Americans, including a ban on transgender troops, removal of anti-discriminatory protections, and adopting a regulation that defines gender as a person's biological sex. The Trump State Department is even appealing a federal judge's decision that it must recognize the U.S. citizenship of a young girl born via surrogate to a gay couple. Though the couple is legally married, the State Department claims because the daughter was born in Canada to a surrogate, she is born out of wedlock and not entitled to birthright citizenship. Does that sound like a pro-gay president to you? On top of that, had a federal judge not stopped Donald Trump, he would have allowed discrimination against gay and trans people in healthcare. On top of that, Trump literally believes that business owners who are anti-gay should be allowed to discriminate against you, kick you out of their place of business if they think that you're icky. 
how can you with a straight face argue that not only that Donald Trump is like pro-gay, but he's the most pro-gay president in American history? You're a clown, Rick. You don't believe that. There's no way you believe this. You are a clown. There's no way that even as narcissistic as you may be, you think Trump is pro-gay because he gave you a job. Well, what about the rest of the LGBTQ plus community, Rick? What about everyone else? Because Trump is okay with you doesn't mean that he is okay with the community at large. Now, what he also said, uh, really, it almost made me laugh out loud about uh, why Donald Trump is pro-gay. Quote, as ambassador to Germany, President Trump fully supported our fight to crush the homophobic and barbaric Islamic terrorist organization Hezbollah and the Iranian regime that supports them. Okay, so because of the Iran deal, Biden is anti-gay, but Trump is pro-gay. What about the fact that Trump is giving weapons to Saudi Arabia, a regime that literally murders gay people? Any word on that? He also gave Trump credit for creating this initiative to decriminalize homosexuality around the globe. And that's objectively a good thing. But when Trump was asked about this, he had no idea what the reporter was talking about because this was a campaign that you spearheaded, Richard. You are the one who should be getting credit for this, not Donald Trump. But of course, you did this to give him credit and make this ad on his behalf. Now, the worst part about all of this is he says, yesterday's champions of diversity are today's intolerant. And that's the same thing that Dave Rubin said, another gay man in a PragerU ad. The people who were once advocates of gay rights are now the ones who are intolerant. Okay, we'll prove it to us. Let's follow you around with the camera crew while you stroll through Alabama holding hands with a guy and see what people wearing MAGA hats say to you. Once they call you a fag and threaten to beat your ass, I think you're going to realize who actually is tolerant in America. It's not conservatives. They are against you, but they don't like you. It's the left. It's liberals. They are the ones who are tolerant. Now, the thing that irritates me the most about this is that, like, if you were just honest, I would respect it more. Like, I would disagree with you if you supported Donald Trump. But, like, just say, look, I know that as a gay man, Donald Trump isn't the most pro-LGBTQ plus president. I get that, but I support him in spite of that because of policies X, Y, and Z. But you, like, twist yourself into a pretzel trying to get everyone to think that he's pro-gay when that's not true. And, like, how far is this going to be shared by the GOP? Because they're trying to also simultaneously appeal to evangelicals. So do they even want people to know that they're supposedly pro-gay? Because that hurts them among their evangelical base, who is predominantly social conservative. So, like, just be honest. Just say, I get it. He's a bigot. He's fine to me, like he, you know, treats me perfectly fine, but by and large, he hurts my community, but that's fine because I think that, you know, his uh, bigotry against immigrants is more important. Like, just say that. Like, why are you trying to lie when everyone knows you're foolish? It's like me trying to convince people that the sky is green. Nobody's going to believe me and I just look like a clown for saying it. So just be honest and I'd have more respect for you. But the fact that you're trying to lie on Trump's behalf and you're using your identity, weaponizing identity politics to help Donald Trump, it's just disgusting. Like, shame on you, Rick. Like, you are a hack. You are a clown. No, that doesn't mean Donald Trump is pro-gay because you got a job from him. Like, give me a break. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad. Very sad. I'm unsubscribing.